Welcome to this edition of SAU Magazine, a weekly program featuring news, profiles, sports, commentary, interviews, and special events, all coming to you from the campus of Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia. This is a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Shelley Glover. And I'm Liz Matern. The end of the academic year sees groundbreaking for a major construction project. The Donald W. Reynolds Campus and Community Center will house 16 university areas and 11 community nonprofit organizations. It will be a two-story, 70,000 square foot structure. The Reynolds Foundation awarded SAU $12.3 million for the facility. It will be located next to the Fine Arts Building. The Reynolds Center will include a cafeteria, bookstore, theater, and ballroom. It will also house the SAU Post Office. The theater will be used for conferences and seminars and show motion pictures. Other rooms will house a student activity center and university health services. The construction completes a four-year application process for the Reynolds Grant. It will take about 18 months to complete the center. It will be the largest construction project in the history of SAU and Magnolia. Commencement exercises take place Friday, May 16th at 8 p.m. at Wilkins Stadium. This year's speaker is Dr. Linda Bean, Director of the Arkansas Department of Higher Education. The Office of Alumni Relations will hold a reception at 6 p.m. in the Bruce Center. Graduates, family, and faculty are invited to attend. All graduates will line up at the baseball field at 7 p.m. In the event of rain, two separate graduation ceremonies will be held in the W.T. Watson Gymnasium. The year in review finds numerous items of interest. The fall semester saw campus enrollment hold steady at 3,000 students. Graham Hall was torn down. Private fundraising efforts intensified for campus projects. Governor Mike Huckabee awarded SAU an $82,000 technology grant. Dr. Corbett Lampkin served his first semester as academic vice president. SAU received continuing accreditation from the North Central Association. Initial plans were made for a graduate school and more parking spaces were built. The spring semester began with a $300,000 donation to SAU from Farmers Bank and Trust. An honors college will begin in the fall. Two forums address possible U.S. military intervention in Iraq. Enrollment increased by 76 students. A winter ice storm curtailed campus activities in February. There was a change in midterm grading policy. Governor Huckabee signed a bill for construction of a university science center, and tuition for the fall semester would increase by at least 14%. This is the final edition of SAU Magazine for the 2002-2003 academic year. Twelve news programs are produced each semester by broadcast journalism students. SAU Magazine airs on radio stations in Arkansas and bordering states. The SAU Report, a television interview program, airs each week locally on Cox Cable. New radio and television programs will be produced during the fall semester. This has been a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Liz Matern. And I'm Shelley Clever. With an SAU profile, I'm Amanda Weber. And I'm Corey Wages. This week's focus is on graduation. It is an event that all college students look forward to. For most college students, it is the end of school, but some will go on to pursue a graduate degree. Graduation is still a gateway to the real world. It is a monumental step for the rest of their lives. Graduates are set free to roam the world to find a job. Some use their degrees to find a job they have been studying about for the last four years. Yet some blaze new trails, finding jobs that have nothing to do with their degrees. The point is, they start their lives a new beginning. Learning new things, meeting new people, and going to new places. All because they took those few steps across the stage and received their diplomas. Those few steps will mean more to SAU graduates than any others they will take. Best wishes to the class of 2003. With an SAU profile, I'm Corey Wages. And I'm Amanda Weber. SAU Sports, I'm Nick Davis. In men's baseball, the Riders lose to Alabama Huntsville in the Gulf South Tournament. After leading 3-1 at the top of the fifth inning, the Riders lost momentum after a 37-minute delay caused by an injury to an Alabama Huntsville outfielder. SAU never seemed to recover, giving up six runs in the bottom of the fifth. The SAU offensive attack was led by Mike Gamez with two hits and an RBI. The loss dropped the Riders into the loser's bracket. I'm Jordan Babineau. Delta State ends the Ryder baseball season. 
the Statesman drilled SAU 10-2. The loss dropped the Riders to 38-17 for the season. The two teams split a four-game series earlier in the year, so Sunday's game was viewed as the rubber match. The only offense to spark for SAU came from Victor Duke, who hit a two-run homer in the bottom of the ninth. It broke up a shutout bid by the Statesman, but it was too little, too late. In women's softball, the Riderettes initially stave off elimination in the Gulf South Tournament. After losing their first game, the Riderettes bounced back and blanked UCA 2 to nothing. The win not only kept the season alive, but ended a 29-inning scoring drought. The Riderettes were led by Cassie Blackwood, who pitched seven shutout innings. She also hit a homer, aiding her own cause. However, Valdosta State eliminated the Riderettes. They shut out SAU 5 to nothing. The loss ended the Ryder Red season with a record of 31 wins and 19 losses. Crystal Poulin gave up five hits and one earned run in taking the loss. Lindsay Knight improved her stolen base record to 43. The Ryder Reds finished as co-champions of the Gulf South West Division. SAU Sports for Nick Davis, I'm Jordan Babineau. With commentary, I'm Joanna Eaton. And I'm Amanda Smith. Final exam week is just around the corner, and for most students, this means stress. Professors always seem to make you turn in multiple papers and throw in a few extra quizzes at this time. On top of that, there's a few late assignments you missed. And don't forget the five-point bonus paper you will do to try to save your grade. With all this stress comes bad attitude. Teachers, roommates, boyfriends, and girlfriends can surely be irritable. Why? Because finding the time to do homework, study, pack, and still keep your sanity is a very hard ordeal. Students seem to forget that sleep is an important key to relieving stress. Going to bed at 4 in the morning is not going to make you a happier person. In the meantime, try to keep in mind that everyone is going through the same ordeal. If you can be serious about schoolwork while keeping a smile on your face, you can conquer this stressful week. And people will wonder how you did it. With commentary, I'm Amanda Smith and I'm Joanna Eaton. an SAU police log, I'm David Parkerson. And I'm Ross Sims. On April 28th, theft of property. The art department reported the theft of a scientific human skeleton from Brinson. The case is under investigation. On May 1st, motor vehicle accident. Elizabeth Myers and Christardra Thomas were involved in an accident on North Jackson, 90 feet from the intersection of West University. No injuries were reported. On May 1st, theft of property. Four students reported the theft of several of their textbooks from their rooms on the first floor of Green Hall. The case is under investigation. On May 5th, possession of instrument of crime. Anthony Greco, a student, was taken into custody by the university police following the execution of a search warrant on his room. Two items of drug paraphernalia were seized. Another search warrant was also executed in Green Hall, but no arrests were made. UPD accepts applications for the position of police officer on a continuing basis. The starting salary for non-certified officers is just under $23,000. The starting salary for certified officers is commensurate with experience. Inquiries may be directed to the Office of Personnel. Students interested in employment as dispatchers, parking service employees, or student patrol members should come by UPD for information on openings in support services. Internships with the University Police are available through the SAU Criminal Justice Department. To report campus crime or if suspicious activities appear to be taking place, contact the University Police Department at 235-4100. That's 235-4100. With an SAU Police Log, I'm Ross Sims. And I'm David Parkerson. I'm Leah Stillman. And I'm Tabitha Taylor. With job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center. A position for a student success supervisor in the Enrollment Service Department is available. Responsibilities include scheduling and monitoring campus visits, database reports, and general office work. Candidate must have two years experience utilizing data management software. Letter of interest, resume, and references must be submitted to the Office of Personnel. The Upward Bound program located in Wilson Hall is looking for drivers, work, study, and regular. Applicants must drive high school students to SAU for Upward Bound meetings and then transport them home. Applicants must be 21 years of age, have a valid driver's license, and a clean driving record. If interested, contact April Blaskowski at 235-4164. I'm Tabitha Taylor and I'm Leah Steelman with job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center. 
with this week's entertainment news. I'm Charles Bostick. And I'm Mary Ligon. The 9th Annual Masterworks Choral and Industrial Festival took place Saturday at First United Methodist Church. The music department presented the festival. This end of the year event featured instrumental and choral music. The performers were the SAU Heritage Singers, Chamber Singers, and Symphonic Wind Ensemble. J.P. Wilson, Director of Bands, and Dr. Ron Hall, Director of Choral Activities, conducted the program. Musical selections included pagan dances and variations on a Korean folk song. The Intergrape Picnic recognized academic and non-academic organizations on campus. Isaac Woods of Phi Beta Sigma and Lauren Nipper of Tri Sigma received the highest individual GPA awards. The sorority and fraternity with the highest cumulative GPAs were Phi Mu and Sigma Tau Gamma. The Greek Days Awards went to Sigma Pi Fraternity and Phi Mu Sorority as Greek Days Champions. The final event of the theater season is held. Students in the directing class presented two evenings of 10-minute plays. There were 15 in two nights. There was something for everyone with a variety of presentations. Viewers were encouraged to attend both nights because plays were not repeated. The free event had limited seating with audiences encouraged to arrive early. The directing class was taught by Kristen Larson, assistant professor of theater. The SAU Performing Arts Series presented the Arkansas Orchestra Brass Quintet in concert Tuesday evening. It took place at First United Methodist Church. The featured performers were Richard Jorgensen and Carl Mason on trumpet. Caroline Kinsey on French horn, Will Kimball on trombone, and Ed Owen on tuba. They performed a variety of original and arranged works for brass quintet. The performance was free and open to the public. And that's this week's entertainment news. The SAU Broadcast Journalism Degree Program features a wide variety of professional experiences. Students are responsible for producing and marketing radio and television programs each semester. SAU Magazine, a radio news program, is available to stations in Arkansas and bordering states. The SAU Report, a television interview program, is available to cable systems in southwest Arkansas and northeast Texas. More than a dozen courses are offered in the SAU Broadcast Journalism Degree Program. Writing, reporting, and hands-on experience are stressed in these courses. In addition, graduating students are more perceptive analysts of mass communication and broadcast journalism. They are very competitive in the job field and for opportunities as graduate students. Information about the Broadcast Journalism Degree Program can be found on the internet at saumag.edu. That's saumag.edu for an excellent educational opportunity. this week's SAU calendar, I'm Shannon Watson. Monday, May 12th is the first day of final exam week. SGA Traffic Appeals Court meets at 4 p.m. Tuesday is student pay day, and at 10 p.m. the late night feeding frenzy will be held in the Bruce Center. MBSF late night is at 9. Room and board payments are due. Wednesday, May 14th, MBSF Bible study is at 7. Thursday is the last day of final exam week, as residence halls close at 5 p.m. MBSF prayer and praise is at 7.30. On Friday, May 16th, student timesheets are due. Spring commencement takes place at 8 p.m. in Wilkins Stadium. In the event of rain, separate ceremonies will take place in the W.T. Watson Gymnasium at 8 and 9.30 p.m. Advising for the first summer session is Monday, June 2nd, with classes beginning on Tuesday, June 3rd. And that's this week's SAU Calendar. SAU Magazine is a production of broadcast journalism students in the Department of Theater and Mass Communication at Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia.